should never have doubted you. There is the promised land. <laughs> we should never have doubted you. You should always question me, Cora, but never the word of the Lord. As he promised us, so it shall be. When will the Lord appear to lead us forward? He won't. We must act for ourselves, Eliaf, if we are to be a free people. Joshua, select 12 men, one from each of the tribes of Israel. Lead them across the plain into Canaan. Look closely at everything you see, then return with your news. Caleb, from the tribe of Judah. Tamua. Darby. Shabbat. Eagle. to occupy this land. So, Naomi, are you too scared to lead us to the land God promised Abraham and Isaac and Jacob? I won't lead my family to certain death or enslavement. God will be with us. He will lead. Be reasonable, Joshua. We've spent 40 days here. 40 days. You saw the same things we saw. The cities are heavily fortified and the people are strong. And there are so many, Joshua. But what good will their numbers be against the strength of the God who delivered us from Egypt and destroyed the Pharaoh's army? Madness, Joshua, madness! You sound like a madman. Eating nothing but manna has destroyed your good sense. <laughs> the desert sun has rotted your brain. Perhaps, but not my heart or my faith. My trust is in the Lord. My love is for God. Can you say the same, Nabi? Are you so righteous that you'd risk our lives? I claim no special righteousness, only devotion to the words of God. Yeah, yeah, You've spent yeah. too long yapping at Moses' heels like a faithful lapdog. Well, it's no, time you thought for yourself. He does, as do I. And we know that the land God promised us lies within our reach. What good is a land of milk and honey if only a handful live to enjoy it? Moses! Is this another test? How can I know that? All I can tell you is what the Lord commanded. We go forward into the land he promised our forefathers. I follow his word without question. And perhaps it is time for a new leader. One who cares enough about the safety of Israel to know God's answers to these questions. You lead us? Yes. It is not too late to save ourselves. Better to go back to Egypt than to die here. Or on an Amalekite sword. I stand with Korah. I say we anoint a new leader. One who will take us back to Egypt and save us from destruction. They draw weapons. This is killing of one another. Never to end. For many more of us must die. Don't they?
The Lord has spoken. Hear his words. Ten times we challenged him and ignored his bidding. Yet even now, he will spare you. All of the men who have lived 20 years or more will die in this desert. 